Well, hello everyone, and uh, this is Sami Higab. Right, today I'll be looking at the Coach Dream Level 2, uh, also known as Market Depth. I gave a quick um, introduction to uh, Coach Dream previously in one of the previous videos. Uh, I'll put the link down below so you can actually watch the video. Um, what I decided to do is to just, um, you know, go through it again basically but this time with a bit more details and um, since it's been um, about two or three weeks now since I've played around with quote stream um, so what we'll do first of all um, but let's have a look at the screen here so at the top here you've got the ticker and these are sort of the my favorite shares that I'm actually following at the moment Great Line Gold, SDX Energy, Echo, uh, Powerhouse Energy, um, High Natural Resources, Vast Resources, uh, Fortrana, or I don't know how you pronounce that, uh, Berkeley Energy, and so on. So you'll see them sort of like scrolling above. And what I could do is I can actually look into more details if I select the ticker that I'm interested in. So I'm, if I'm looking at Ireland Gold, uh, sorry, Ireland Energy, Ireland Oil and Gas is called, I keep calling everything energy. Um, so we can see here that the, the bid at the moment is uh, £1.19 and the ask is £1.20.50. So that everything is quoted in pence, as you probably know. We can look at the market capitalization, um, 265 million plus, and we can have a quick look at the graph, how it's actually performed today. So we can see that it's dropped and it's picked up a bit and then now it's sort of crashed at 12 p.m. And now it's sort of trying to recover that. Okay, so this is my portfolio here. This is the portfolio manager and my current holdings or investments that I'm making. Uh, what, I, what I personally do is I, you know, I've got brokerage accounts with a number of different brokers, so I kind of distribute my uh, my investment portfolio. But this is the main the main one that I'm working on at the moment. You can see everything is pretty much in red. Uh, it's one of the the worst periods at the moment. Uh, but the whole idea when when you're going through <coughs> a rough patch or you're not performing really well. Um, you have to keep cool and you you know you just keep on trading it's just a bit like a game you know you you, know, you kind of detach yourself from from the losses um so what we can see here is first of all the last trade uh, so these are the last trades the changes and this is all real time and the percent change it's self explanatory as you can see you can arrange the order of it And then the bid, the bid size, um, the amount of shares that's available to buy or sell. Um, so you can see here, this is the thing. So if you was to sell the shares, this is how much you'll be sort of getting for it, 52.52. And if you was to buy, you'll be buying at 0.57. And this is called the spread. So this is what's available at the moment, 100,000 at that price, and this is if you're selling 75,000 at 52. Now we can look at the details if we was to look at the market depth. So at PHE. So we can see here there's about size of a contract is 75,000 if I want to sell at 52. And here the time and sell, you can see all the orders being executed. If I just scroll a bit back, I did make a sell just recently. Uh, that's my order here, 11.35. I sold at 52.75. So it's a bit better than 52, as you can see. And now it's actually dropped a bit further. So you can actually see now that if you wanted to sell, you would sell at 0.50 but 225,000 times by three so basically three times that number it's available to be sold okay 
So that's looking at PHC. If I look at Echo Energy as an example as well, Echo, I don't have it here, so I can just type it up. Okay, so in Echo, you can sell at 11.50, or I can buy at 11.60. You can see it's slightly tighter, only a 0.10 difference between the two. Um, which is okay and we can see that, that there's a trend here in echo where there's been a lot of buy, well, a bit of buying so you can see that 50,000 um, shares have been bought at 1120 and 1132 about 12 minutes later we've got 500,000 shares being purchased at 12 or 8 what 17,000 shares and so on so you can actually see the kind of orders that have been coming in today and you can get a feel of the kind of trend uh, of the market so there's quite a bit of selling this one selling here and then the buy so overall um, I feel echo could be on on the move on the upward trend um, just a quick view as well we can see the trend here as well so it's green red green red this is the trend so it can give you an idea of how how it's actually trending at the moment um, I'm trying to keep this introduction very very simple so if anyone's following along uh, in his first time they're using um, quote stream they can get an idea of exactly how to to go about um, using it for the first time as a quick introduction so this is my profit and loss the day loss is about 1205 um, which is okay um, and overall this is how much I'm sort of losing at the moment so this is a, a quite a good way of getting it like a quick snapshot now what's happening on this window here heat maps so heat map gives me an idea just a quick snapshot exactly how each share is performing um, as it gets to blue um, it means it's on an upward trend and it's, it's increased so that's 8% increase in that one here echo is about 0.87% increase the rest I mean Genel um, Energy I think that's what it's called let's have a look, quick look Genel Energy yep Genel Energy got that right um, that hasn't moved from from yesterday so it hasn't really done much um, and also Highland Natural Resources here, you can see that it hasn't moved much, although this morning it was at £1.21, so it was quite higher than what it is now. Um, and you can see now there's, there's Fortrana has dropped by 1.67%, as you can see here as well, you we can see it just there. Uh, vast Resources, 1.26% drop. So this gives me a quick snapshot of the the worst performers and the best performers um, powerhouse energy uh, you can it's gone to 50p about 0 0.50 not 50p but half a pence um, so yeah we can see we can quickly see a trend here we can see that the market's moving in a downward trend as, as most of the shares have actually dropped and the gainers haven't really gained very much um, so that's another thing now the window below is, is quite interesting I kind of look at it for inspiration unfortunately I haven't invested in any of these companies that are listed here but just today Mongolia Petroleum moved about 76% um, earlier in the morning actually was up 100% so that would have been a really good investment to make had I had uh, the hindsight of knowing that it's actually going to be uh, performing really well like that um, but unfortunately I'm not investing but I can see the kind of the best performers at the moment in the market you can see here as the shares change so these are all the fantastic companies that have performed really well today best performers I can look at other markets as well. I've got London Stock Exchange, I've got NASDAQ, um, and I've got all the other uh, markets I can look at. 
New York Stock Exchange. So I can look at the New York Stock Exchange and see how that's performing for today. I'm not quite sure if it's open, the market's open just yet, but this could be yesterday's performances. Um, so yeah, so these are all like the, the gainers. And of course we can have a look at the drops. So we can look at the percent decliners. Let's see what the worst performers for today. Uh, BASF has dropped about 49.95%, so about 50% drop there. Um, turn, that was performing really well earlier. I got in at 14 pence and I sold it just slightly higher than that. Um, came out of the market. Um, but however, that company's been on upward trend. It was like a pence or something and then it moved up all the way up to 50. So it was really really a good performer and um, now it's kind of taken the downtrend about 17 percent drop just today it's now at 27 however if you bought it at two pence or something like that then you know you've made a, a good a good return on your investment even if you do sell at 27 and you've missed a uh, 50 pence and um, so you yes it's, it's, a, it's a really good investment to make and the other worst performers i can recognize any companies I've invested in previously I'm just quickly having a look yeah I can't see any any company I recognize that I've invested in previously so yeah so that's pretty much Unilever that's interesting it dropped by four percent there Unilever is a fantastic, fantastic company to invest in you got good dividends um, unfortunately today they've dropped about four point three seven percent Okay, so that's enough for of the market depth. If you've got any questions, you know, feel free to ask, um, and I'll keep you posted. I'll keep trying to create a new video, show you how I'm performing overall um, as time goes along. If it's just a quick advice for someone that's starting out, um, if you're starting out, yeah, make an investment that you can afford to lose. Don't. Um, gamble everything uh, I, I've been in the game for quite a bit of time so I'm I've got thick skin so even if I do drop by 50% I can still you know be fine with it I don't sort of panic or or jump under a train or anything like that so you have to be you have to make sure that whatever you invest you can afford to lose as well as you you've done your your fundamental analysis your technical analysis and you've decided okay these are the companies that i'm going to be investing in and and just leave it at that and look at long term as well not just look at the short term and uh, losses so you have to look at overall over a trend of let's say uh, a couple of months or 90 days to be realistic and see how you've performed over that over that period of 90 days so we can see that the market's changing up and down. Um, Genel Energy was was in red. Now it's moved up slightly here. Um, so yeah, so we, this all changes. You can see the value changes. It could go up or down. Uh, I might find myself three thousand pound down today, or or more. Uh, who knows? So we'll see how the market performs, and then. I'll keep you posted tomorrow as well. I'll, I'll create another video and show you how I've performed for tomorrow. Thanks for watching.